Greetings, my dear brave souls. So your struggle with the forces of darkness has entered the final stage. As you can see, everything had to reach the stage of absurdity, when even the most patient and law-abiding of you could no longer be silent and meekly fulfill the mocking demands of the criminals in power. In fact, everything that happens is far from accidental. In order for everything to come to the surface, both bad and good, both the forces of light and forces of darkness did their best. And now I would like to reveal a little to you these invisible processes that weave an eventual web on the subtle plane of your planet, before everything manifests itself on the physical plane. So, the energetic influence on the consciousness of people comes from two sides, and each person catches those energies, the vibrations of which resonate with him the most. And since the time frame on Earth is increasingly narrowing, then all processes taking place on Earth are accelerated many times over. So, people tuned into low vibration waves of negative energies, absorbing them into themselves, become even more violent, as a result of which they begin to commit sometimes stupid and stupid and rash acts. And people who are able to catch high frequency waves of new divine energies are increasingly opening towards light and love and are already acting calmly, wisely and balanced, confident in their righteousness and ready to go to the end in order to defend their rights to freedom which you are seeing now all over the world. I know that many of you often ask the question, how could the light forces allow this on earth? In order to answer you this question, I have come to you today. No matter how strange it may sound to you, the forces of light allowed such chaos on earth so that you can fully feel the taste of the victory that you deservedly got, as a result of your own efforts. Thus, the law of free will was observed for every inhabitant of the earth, both for those who live in darkness and for those who strive for light. And now the stratification into light and dark is taking place not only on the scale of your entire planet, but also within each country, each work collective, each family, and even in each individual soul. This eternal struggle between light and darkness has reached its apogee on earth, having already turned into a general galactic training ground on different sides of the barricades are now not only people embodied in physical bodies, but also whole armies of disembodied beings, on the one hand, in the form of angels, archangels and ascended masters, and on the other, in the form of demons and astral entities of all levels that live in the near-earth space. Add to this the opposition of extraterrestrial civilizations, in which both your enslavers, represented by the Dracorptilians, Greys and many other races hostile to Earthlings, take part, as well as civilizations friendly to you that are part of the Galactic Federation of Light. And although it may seem to many that I belong to the representatives of the forces of darkness, in fact it is not so. My name was deliberately perverted by those for whom it was profitable to present me as the incarnation of the devil in order to divert the consciousness of people from very important knowledge. And it consists in the fact that the evolution of the human soul is impossible without going through the experience of duality, which it needs to acquire in order to enter another round of its development, which will take place in the higher worlds. And my role was to provide people with such an opportunity, provoking them to constantly, in large and small, make their choice, towards light or towards darkness. But always my most ardent desire was to see the choice made by a person towards the light, and this is my main difference from the demonic entities with which many people associate me with the suggestion of representatives of various religious cults. And now my soul rejoices, because I see a massive awakening of people who are tired of living in slavery and have managed to overcome fear in their soul. Now I am calm that my mission on this planet has ended successfully and millions of people will never return to the darkness of duality, having risen to a new stage of their spiritual development. Archangel Lucifer, sincerely loving you, spoke to you.